Warning, Soma contains graphic scenes and is unsuitable for children. Previously on Soma. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Find Tau and Alpha. Take the gel to Alpha. Thanks for the Cortex chip. We've all been going a bit nuts. Tell me about it. Feels like my head's about to explode. Apply a gel to dead mouse. The gel can cause the mouse to appear alive. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. It came back to life. Something like it. <laughs> it's so slow. Let me out. Okay. I looked at it that time because I think that one's maybe friendly? That one in particular seems different from the others. So it didn't scare me so much. Uh, poison the well though, yes, okay. Oh hey. So, Site Alpha, that's the one with the big sphere in it, at least from the drawings it seems that way. Huh. And they're debating whether or not it's real? Gosh, look at this. That's crazy. So I guess little bits of structure gel just like float off into the ocean. Cause all kinds of problems. Heck, it's probably caused all kinds of problems on the surface, too. Doesn't look like there's anything in there, though, for me. Some dead rats. Aw, so many dead rats. Poor things. I'm not even a fan of rats, but they obviously starved to death <laughs> in those cages. Not a nice way to go. Well, I don't need to heal, so... I'm not gonna do that. I'll save it for if I need to heal, because I probably will later. Okay, let's go to the third floor, which is just over here, I think. What's it going to be? Okay. Looks nice and quiet. No monsters around? You know what, this has actually been quite a nice play session. Oh, there we go, lockdown. Alright, uh, let's do it. Override. Incorrect floor selected. My apologies. Alright, sweet. I'm just gonna appear and say nothing to me. Oh, another exploded head. My money's on black boxes gone wrong. Oh look, they actually have English labels. Everything else so far has always been uh It's always been Chinese or something. Yeah. Cool. This guy's using a computer. No signal. Let's see. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Hmm. Cameron Eames Lansky. All studying the body inside containment. 
follow up with whatever they find. Delenda Est. Interesting. I've been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything. And definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice if you can get through. Delenda Est. I guess the uh, system overload is what caused all the black boxes to explode. What if the WoW has a human consciousness applied to it now? Just like the uh, the cards that was going on the Ark. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. That's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. She didn't make it. What? What the heck was that? That must have been her head exploding. Oh my gosh. Can I look at the documents here? Tower evacuation. On September 13th, Vic Auclair ordered the staff at Tau to evacuate, evacuate and move up to the plateau. Together with engineer Alan Waldeck and I descended into the abyss to assist the evacuation. Following protocol, we waited at the climate platform for 140 minutes and made several attempts to contact Tau. I decided to move towards the site, thinking I might intercept them. That's when I noticed the guiding lights flickering and soon the whole path shut down. Omega Sector swallowed by darkness. I pushed on with my floodlights until I heard screaming over the short range radio. It carried on, breaking in and out of range. As I hurried closer to investigate, I came upon a lacerated body of field worker Espinosa. Something bid had almost cut her in two. I considered the importance of saving Tau, and more specifically Ross, as I heard Espinosa's colleagues getting macerated over the radio. Seeing no way to possibly improve the situation, I hurried back to the climber and left the people at Tau to their fate. Wow. With some luck, Ross made it back to Tau and is able to continue his work at Alpha. To avoid further disturbances, I have decided to report the evacuation as a complete failure, hoping it will stop Theta from attempting another one. Claudia Eames, the manager of Omicron, has already ordered the climber to stay at the plateau for now. My report on the savage wildlife scared everyone enough to even stop Waldeck and Darby from maintaining those Lumar pr probes. It's a good thing Golaski is off site because I have a feeling he would not approve. The restrictions came out slightly more severe than I had anticipated, but I'll take it. As long as Ross is left alone to work with the WoW. Carthage. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go over here. Power room, hey. Now that sounds promising. For a power cell. <laughs> and maybe in here? We got running power cables. Oh my gosh. This guy's head exploded, but the computer made him a new head. Oh. That is gross. What's this? High performance rechargeable lithium sulfur packs. That's what I need. Uh, so I guess I need to put one in there and get it charged up. Why can't I use my flashlight power? <clears throat> Gosh. It is getting awfully. Okay, there's something there. I was about to say it's getting awfully loud in here. Can I get past this guy without him seeing me? Oh. It's so... Oh. It's 
like crying or something. Can I get past? Oh my gosh! Did it see me? Did it see me? Did it see me? Did it see me? Can I get past? How am I gonna get past? Is there anything I can do? How do I get past? That's the thing I need, it's behind it. Oh my gosh, would you stop shaking my camera like that? Maybe I can go in here? It looks locked. Gosh. Um. I don't know, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> can I just leave? Oh, the power pack's just... It's behind her? Okay. Okay. Let's figure this out. We need to get past her. No denying that. We have to get past her. Maybe I could throw something to distract her. Oh, that's too heavy. That was really heavy and I dropped everything out of it. <laughs> Is she going to investigate that thing I dropped, perhaps? Oh my god! Uh, I've got something that's less heavy. Hey. Check out that loud sound. Right? Is she gonna do that? Dang it, she's not... She's not looking at anything. She has a claw for a hand. Is it getting bigger the closer I get to her? She's like transforming. <laughs> she was transforming. That's totally what was happening. Ah! Run! <laughs> Can I just... Oh, she got me. I still have the thing I need. I still have the thing I need. Let me just put it in, please. Wait, oh, I can't charge it here. Where do I charge it? Okay, let's just get out of here. Maybe I don't charge it in here. All right, maybe I could just leave. Maybe charge it here. What's this? No, let's just get out of here. Let's just get out of here. Can I shut the door, please? <sighs> Oh my gosh. No. I'm very badly injured. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I have everything I need. I can just head. I don't even need to explore anymore. I can just go back up. Or back down. I could just go back down. Damien, why aren't you going back down? Why aren't you going backwards, Damien? Why? What are you going to do? Oh, you want to explore that? Why? That's, that's not. That's not interesting. You don't want to go in there. Damien. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Uh, wow. It's a party! Oh, hey, this guy still has his head. No, I guess not. Alright, well, I can't go out here anyway, so... That was a waste of time. Let's go back downstairs. Ooh. And I'm glad I saved some of those healing things, too, because I am definitely going to need to heal. Hopefully I can find one pretty soon. Not that I really recall where they were. Um. No! You follow me there? Is this where I need to go? No, that's not it. Oh no, I don't remember where where it was. 
Well, I kind of figured this was going to happen. Oh, there's the long corridor. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost. I don't remember where to go. I think if I turn around and take a right, I think that should take me where I need to go. But I don't want to turn around. I think this is the right way. Yes, this looks like the right way. Okay. The monster's behind me. The monster's behind me. The monster's behind me. I think I'm okay. Oh god. Run! Oh, just freaking run, please! <laughs> what do you think's going on? I managed to piss off another one of those <sighs> monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. I hate this place. <laughs> what a go. We need to assemble your new body for the things you collected. Just stuff all of it into the suit with the dead body. Just stuff it in? That is well, I suppose the uh, structure gel will take care of it, right? Okay, there's the head. <laughs> this is basically my new head, this this camera. And the gel, sure. sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. Oh. All right, try activating the seat from the terminal again. Oh my gosh. That could really do with healing. Although I suppose I'm moving to a new body soon, so I won't need to heal. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was going to suggest that if you refused. Huh. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it? Change body? Yes. If you want to stay here, I'm not going to stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. Alright. Let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. I'm getting a new body, guys. It's kind of cool, actually. Here we go. We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. I will. That's pretty close. Aha! That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control. So please, have a seat. Have a seat. That certainly sounds familiar. Okay. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. It's like having a picture taken. But well, with the most expensive camera in the world, you know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the thing. Wow. There must be something wrong. Can't you run a diagnosis or something? Wait, I'm in two places at once. What was that? No, I it just... Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied. And now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. Whoa, dude. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what, wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? That's so cruel. 
Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You'd yes. I don't know. Maybe. There. Wow. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Wow, oh, she just ejected herself. I mean... I, even I understood that it was going to be copying my mind and putting in the other. Catherine's actually got it pretty easy because she's basically a chip that I keep putting putting into everything else. So it's always uh, actually her rather than copies of her. So this is this is me right here. This is what I was. If I unplug it, I'm basically dying. But if I leave him alive, it'd be as if nothing happened and I wake up back here for all eternity. Ah, oh, such a thing. Wow. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to let him die. Yeah. Sorry. Technically, it's kind of like suicide, right? dead. Well, enough of that. Let's go on a deep sea adventure. Hooray! <laughs> oh, sorry, Catherine. I always forgot you. Let's go find SpongeBob. Open sesame. Next time on Soma. What the hell? What the heck? What the heck? <laughs>